Hello Scrappy Peep Susanna here today for the Scrap Room and I'm sharing with you this layout that I created using uh, one of the flavors of the month for the March kits. Those are the kits there. So with each kit you're going to get three pieces of patterned paper in the main kit flavor of the month kit. So there's um, all both sides of all three of the sheets of patterned paper and you are also going to get two sheets of cardstock. This is a new to me cardstock from I believe this is photo play um, and then you're going to get an assortment of embellishments. So those are the chipboard frames um, and then you get some enamel dots as well as some of the floral ephemera pieces. So then I also subscribe to the pattern paper add-on so you'll get two pieces per collection so eight pieces and those are both sides of that and then I also subscribe to the um, embellishment add-on and so those are the embellishments the uh, puppy letter stickers. They actually come in two colors and so I you only get half. So I've trimmed off the edge of the uh, cardstock, trimmed off my photo, and now I'm going to figure out what exactly I am going to uh, do with this assortment of papers. So I have a square photo, but I have a feeling, there you go, I know I want to use it round. Um, and my idea is that I wanted to do cascading circles um, with that as the largest circle, but I also have these square chipboard frames and I'm struggling with how I'm going to integrate the square that I really want to use with um, circles. So I've decided that instead of using this whole sheet of that lovely mixed media, I am going to um, just use a portion of it that adds some fun color. My daughter's shirt is a bright blue, and so I really want to get a little bit of blue into it, but not focus on the blue. So I've pulled out a bunch of my manual dies, um, and so I'm going to definitely cut that. I've got a, this is a four by four photo, and this is a four by four circle. Um, and so I will cut that out and make sure that um, I've got my focal point to my layout, which is this photo here. So I have created a lot with this particular collection. Um, so be sure to check out my uh, IG and photo stream or my um, playlists to check out the other uh, layouts that I have created with this collection. It's fun. You can do a lot with it. Um, so uh, now I've just got a bunch of different circle dies. Um, this one it happens to be a lace edge doily. And I will also pull out my circle punches as well to so that I've got a little bit of texture in each of the circles. I've got a little bit of variety in the circles um, and that some have stitched edges. Uh, I don't use the ones with the holes on them. But just to add a little bit of uh, punch to this. So behind my sister, my sister's on the left, I'm in the middle, and then Mia, uh, my daughter, is on the right. Behind my sister and I is a white wall, but behind Mia, it's kind of this orangey red wall, which clashes. It doesn't clash, but it doesn't work with the colors that are in the collection. Um, and so I need to have these really bright yellows and that sort of stark contrast dark green in there um, because it just sort of subdues that. It draws your eye away. Well, not away, but uh, your eye isn't just automatically drawn to this one thing that stands out. So I am just going to um, try and arrange the circles so that there is balance uh, in color and size and the textures because of the lace border of some of those circles. And um, I, I know I need something on that right hand side to create an edge over there. So I'm just going to use another piece of that mixed media paper there. I love that. I wish I could create mixed media that looked like that. Um, and then you can see where I've placed those chipboard squares and they work perfectly there. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure why, but my video stopped recording. Um, probably about two thirds of the way through the creative process. So I will tell you that I am going to use that pink chipboard frame and I'm going to back that with uh, one of the blues. So it is the only other blue really that's in the layout other than the blue that's in that mixed media paper and the blue in my daughter's shirt. And it's subtle enough that it works um, perfectly. Also within those uh, puffy alphas that I showed you from the add-ons, um, there is a gray that's in there and it's kind of a gray blue and that will work as well. 
Um, so just running a million circles through my manual die cut machine in order to get all of the bits and pieces that I want. So I pretty much do use every um, pattern paper in both the kit and the add-on. Don't forget I subscribe to the add-on. Um, and that creates a fun cascade there. So I pre-punched all of my circles so that uh, I have these holes so I can test for size. Um, and so the one inch circle is perfect here or the punch for uh, creating out for punching out these diamonds. Um, they're not quite diamonds, but uh, I forget what they're called, but yeah those things. Um, and I just like that they're the white on a white background, which provides um, a fun little a sort of additional shape to uh, this cascade here. So this is where I want to point out that um, the the paper, it's a smooth cardstock, which is super awesome, but it's not quite white. It's a little more ivory than white. Um, and so you are going to get contrast between that white diamond that's I'm going to call a diamond um, and not. So where that die is, is where I'm going to use the top half of that gingham circle at the top, the green gingham circle. Um, and I'm just using it as a placeholder rather than just cutting another one out. So I'm going to fussy cut down these flowers and spare you the agony of having to watch that and um, use that as multiple pieces there. I'm actually going to use those smaller flowers that I put up the top left there and swap them with the flowers that are at the bottom right there. Um, again, just for some color disbursement, I'm going to have the yellow up the top with the green and then the pink down at the green at the bottom there. So I'm going to um, adhere all of this down and you will see part of that. What you will miss um, is that I am going to uh, so do the chipboard frame as I mentioned. Some of those circles are going to move over to the right hand side. I will also use um, a, just a piece of white cardstock and do a debossed plain white circle. You'll see that in the close-ups. And then I will use the enamel dots and sprinkle them throughout the layout again for some added texture texture and I apologize that you do not get to see all of the creative process. So this is for um, the Scrap Room Flavor of the Month kit. Um, you can subscribe. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in that. You are able to get one-offs as well. If you have any questions about my um, creative process, please don't hesitate to leave those in the box down below. Thanks for stopping in today. Enjoy the close-ups. Come back again soon. Take care.